The farthest galaxies. Our perception of the far universe was much different and quite limited before Hubble was launched. Astronomers at best could only detect galaxies halfway across the universe, out to about 7 billion light years. The brilliant beacons known as quasars could be seen as far as roughly 10 billion light years. But it was largely a mystery as to what these objects were, with its ability to stare deep into the sky with clarity and precision. Hubble has extended our vision, revealing galaxies more than 13.4 billion light years away closer to the dawn of time than any other telescope can see today. One of the ways Hubble has uncovered these far distant galaxies is with the help of natural zoom lenses in space in a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. The gravitational fields of massive galaxy clusters bend and magnify the light of much more distant galaxies that reside behind the clusters, allowing Hubble to see farther than it could otherwise on its own. Hubble has targeted dozens of galaxy clusters to search for these nascent, far-off relics of the primordial universe. Sometimes these remote galaxies appear as faint red dots, or sometimes as arcs of light bending around the brightest galaxies of the intervening cluster. Using Hubble to study these early galactic specimens, astronomers have begun to discover how the universe's first galaxies arose, what was going on inside of them, and how they eventually evolved into the modern, mature galaxies that reside around us, within our cosmic neighborhood. Discovering a distant dead disk galaxy. Hubble surprised astronomers by revealing a dead disk-shaped galaxy one that's no longer forming any new stars that existed at a time when the universe was still quite young, just a few billion years old. Astronomers had seen other galaxies that gave up star formation long ago, but had assumed those galaxies resembled the rounded, elliptical galaxies we see in the present-day universe. They had thought star formation in the universe's earliest. Galaxies were sparked by mergers between young galaxies, which would produce larger galaxies that are round or oval-shaped. However, Hubble's observations show that in this particular galaxy, named Max 2129 to 1, stars formed in a disk instead. Finding such a galaxy so early in the history of the universe forces astronomers to rethink how massive galaxies formed and evolved. Hubble imaged the intriguing galaxy with the help of a natural gravitational lens, an intervening cluster of galaxies whose powerful gravity magnified the light from the distant disk galaxy. Analyzing this and additional archived observations from Hubble, astronomers determined that the faraway galaxy is three times as massive as the Milky Way, but only half the size. Measurements from the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope VLT showed that the disk galaxy is spinning more than twice as fast as the Milky Way. However, astronomers are still unsure why this galaxy stopped forming stars. Detailing the universe's brightest infrared galaxies Assisted by gravitational lensing, Hubble captured detailed images of the brightest infrared galaxies in the universe rare. Distant galaxies that give off 10,000 times more infrared light than our Milky Way does. Hubble sees these galaxies as they existed 8 billion to 11.5 billion years ago, during the height of the universe's star-producing days. Using the same amount of star-forming gas as exists in the Milky Way, these remote galaxies are creating 5,000 to 10,000 times more stars than our galaxy does today. Enshrouded in dust, the galaxies are too faint to detect invisible light. However, these galaxies glow fiercely in dust-penetrating infrared light, shining with the brilliance of 10 trillion to 100 trillion suns. Astronomers estimate that only a few dozen of these distant, ultra-bright infrared galaxies exist. Still, these faraway beacons have much to tell us about how stars were born and how galaxies grew long ago. 
they might be distant relatives of the ultraluminous infrared galaxies that exist more locally, in which galaxy collisions fuel star birth. However, astronomers do not yet know what fueled the more distant galaxies, whether collisions between galaxies or possibly foreign gas raining down on the galaxies. Other observatories were the first to detect these galaxies. But Hubble's high resolution could help astronomers solve the mystery of the galaxies. Extraordinary luminescence. Gravitational lensing magnifies the galaxies, allowing astronomers to see more detail with Hubble than they could have possibly seen otherwise. Uncovering a stretched out galaxy from the very early universe. Hubble received a little help from gravitational lensing to spot a galaxy so far away that it existed when the universe was only 500 million years old. The feeble light from this embryonic galaxy, named as PT 0615 JD, was magnified and stretched out by the intense gravity of a much closer group of galaxies. Hubble has spotted a few other primitive galaxies from this early era of the universe, but most appear as small red dots. This is the farthest galaxy yet discovered to be gravitationally lensed and stretched into an extended arc, which provides more information about its size and shape by combining observations from Hubble and NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. Astronomers determined that the remote galaxy lies 13.3 billion light-years away. Early analysis suggests the galaxy contains no more than 3 billion times the mass of the Sun, or only about 1, 100th the mass of our Milky Way. It is also less than 2,500 light-years across, making it only half the size of the small Magellanic Cloud, a dwarf galaxy orbiting the much larger Milky Way. The galaxy is likely representative of young galaxies from its time, thus giving us a glimpse of what some of the universe's first galaxies. Spotting the faintest galaxy yet seen in the distant universe, Taking advantage of a natural zoom lens in space, Hubble spotted the faintest galaxy yet found in the very early universe, existing about 400 million years after the Big Bang, the dim. Remote galaxy was made to look 20 times brighter than normal by the gravitational lensing of a massive cluster of galaxies called Max J0416.1 to 2403. The galaxy is comparable in size to the large Magellanic Cloud LMC, but it is rapidly making stars at a rate 10 times faster than the LMC. Although astronomers have located other, brighter galaxies that are slightly farther away, this object represents a smaller, fainter class of newly forming galaxies that must have been common in the early universe, but have largely evaded detection. These very dim objects may be more representative of the early universe and offer new insight on the formation and evolution of the universe's first galaxies. Pushing the limits of our cosmic view. Using Hubble, astronomers found what could be the farthest galaxy ever seen to date, dubbed GNZ11. The infant galaxy appears as it was about 13.4 billion years in the past. When the universe was only about 3% of its current age, GNZ11 is 25 times smaller than the Milky Way and possesses just 1% of our galaxy's mass in stars. However, the fledgling galaxy is growing fast, forming stars about 20 times faster than our galaxy does today. Up close, the galaxy would appear to be ablaze with bright, young, blue stars, but it looks red because its light has been stretched to longer redder wavelengths by the expansion of the universe. Astronomers had previously estimated GNZ-11's distance, based on its color in images from Hubble and NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. Follow-up spectroscopic observations with Hubble, however, provided a more precise measurement for the distance, and revealed that the galaxy was even farther away than originally thought. It is the first time astronomers have made such a measurement. For a galaxy so far away, GNZ11 is at the limit of what Hubble can observe, and its discoverers think the galaxy is likely to hold on to the 
distance record until NASA's James Webb Space Telescope launches and begins to use its infrared cameras to peer even deeper into the universe.